Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to try and make this as short as I possibly can, but um, I'm really like full um, and kind of overwhelmed in a good way though. Um, okay, so uh, originally I was not going to do the moon ritual at all whatsoever. Um, and my reason for not doing it was simply because I'm new to moon rituals. So I wanted to know what it was. I don't even know what it was I don't know how you know the moon relates to anything for me or anything like that so it's on my to-do list for things to study and research and all that good stuff um, one thing I do know is that just because you're in the culture of a particular thing does not mean that absolutely everything within that culture pertains to you individually so I wanted to make sure um, that I read and study up on it and then, you know, see if it's even something for me to be involved with um, or to tie myself into. So, I was like, alright, I'm gonna just sit back, see what everybody posts, watch their videos, you know, and just, you know, do my own little research and study as well. Um, but over time, you know, watching Kendra's videos she would bring up stuff about moon rituals or bring up you know stuff about a moon altar and I'm like okay like oh you know it just made me be like what is this um so I watched the full moon tarot read yesterday was it yesterday yesterday I watched the full moon tarot, tarot read and I kid you not that spread that read went hand in hand with my very first ancestral reading okay I got my first ancestral reading this year a couple months ago um, I want to say it was towards the end of the school year when I got it. It was my first time hearing about ancestral readings, first time hearing about the ancestors, first time being introduced to um, Orisha, Yoruba, Ifa, Egg Bays, all that stuff. So um, I went and got my first reading and I honestly did a general reading because I was going through so much, like everything was just chaotic um, at that point. And I'm like, I can't even pinpoint an area to focus on. Like, I just need a general guidance, direction, confirmation type reading. Um, and I promise, I promise you, y'all, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Everything in those two readings, hand in freaking hand. Um, so I'm like, I right, okay. And then... Um, I come from a religious background. I come from Christianity. And of course, um, in Christianity, you are aware of certain numbers um, that they pinpoint, usually the number three because of the Trinity, um, the number seven, eight, and nine. So those four numbers are generally the numbers that they, you know, they stick to or they point out. Um, so knowing about those numbers, uh, I've seen those numbers before and they don't really, you know, they never really resonated. They never really meant anything to me necessarily. I just know, you know, okay, that number's for this, this is numbers for that, and this number's for that. Um, there was never really any, like, really spiritual tie or connection to the numbers at all. Um, so just with the, the journey to spirituality which has been prevalent my entire life um and even growing up in church being raised in church my dad's a pastor go figure like church just never it just never really like i don't know we just not knocking anybody that go to church you know and do all of that but for me like it just never really connected 100 percent. it just didn't certain aspects of it did there's certain things about christianity that um 
I still stick to and abide by. Uh, you know, if you, what do they call it? You chew on the meat and spit out the bones or something. Well, I chew on the meat and I take notes on the rest. Because just because it's not for you at that moment, it could be for you later on in life. You know what I mean? Everything has its own time and season. And some things you just discard completely. But, um, so with that, um, this week, I have been seeing 1111, which is crazy because I've never, ever, ever, um, been aware of that before, ever. Have I may have seen it somewhere? I may have. But the fact that I'm digging deeper into spirituality, I'm now more aware my senses have become more heightened. So now I can catch stuff that I wasn't catching before. So this week I've been seeing 1111. Also this week, I've been seeing the number three all week. The number three all week. Mind you, Kendra's video, she's been pointing out the number three for this week. The full moon um, tarot spread she did, number three. When she did the, the video on uh, the ego and the devil cards, number three. When she did the scripture in 2 Corinthians, number three. Like, when she did um, her video in regards to the full moon ritual, just the general video, the number three. So I'm like, alright, okay okay all right so okay like i have to do this i have to do it period point blank i have to do it so um one of my friends in particular um she'll always you know talk to me and ask me for resources references advice or whatever she comes to me for guidance um direction whatever um and she comes with me with questions on things delving with um spirituality in the spiritual realm so I sent her a text this morning. I'm like, hey, you know, are you doing anything on the moon ritual? She's like, ah, oh, are you doing anything? Do you know anybody doing anything? So I hit her back and I'm like, yeah, like I can, you know, shoot you a couple videos, whatever. So I send her um, the video links to YouTubes uh, that Kendra has done. And um, like an hour later, she calls me. And she's like, okay, so where are you going for these rituals and who's all doing it? Like, who's all coming? I'm like, what, what do you mean, who's all coming? Like, I don't know. I said, I don't know any group or anybody that does it. I just, you know, follow this group. I'm part of this. I started telling her about, you know, Kendra's videos, the groups on Facebook, this, that, and the other. I'm like, I don't know anybody here. I'm not connected to anybody here, you know, to be like hey let's link up and let's do the ritual together type deal so i'm like it's, you know every man for they self i'm guessing i'm just you know doing it by myself at home she was like okay well you know what time are you doing it i'm going to miss monica's later she was like i can come to your house and i can do the ritual with you she's like i'm just gonna have to come do it with you and i'm like first of all how are you just gonna invite yourself to come do the ritual with me like no, I'm just kidding. But, no, I really was. Like, how are you going to just... But I was like, all right, you know, no big deal. Cool. Like, I think people do that stuff where they come, you know, and do it together. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, So, she was like, oh. She was like, yeah, I was telling Miss Monica about it. And she's interested and wanted to know where you were going and this is now. I was like, well, I'm doing it at home. She was like, okay, well, she was like... All that stuff you told me about the girl, the videos, and this, this, and that, all that information, you call her and tell her yourself. She was like, just like you told me, you call her and tell her because she was interested in it. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why would Miss Monica, like, want to know? Like, I would think she already, you know, knew when this, this, and that. That's my thinking because she's the lady that I go to for my ancestral readings. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why would she want to know where I'm going? I'm like, maybe she want to check and make sure that where I'm going or what I'm into is, um, like, good. Like, um, you know how people, you, you bring somebody like, oh, I felt, I found this, um, jewel or this diamond or this gem. And they check it to see if it's authentic or generic. I'm thinking it's one of those things. Like, she wants to make sure 
whatever I'm going to or whoever I'm connected to is legit. So, um, I called Miss Monica. She didn't answer her phone, so I shoot her a text like, hey, uh, give me a call when you can. You know, the homie told me you wanted to know about what I'm doing with the moon ritual, you know, where I'm getting my information from or whatever, whatever. So, when she calls me, y'all, this is crazy. So, when she calls me, um, she asks me about it, and I tell her. And she's like, oh, so this is something you're doing on your own. And I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't know anybody to connect with and be like, oh, I'm going over here with these people to do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's something I'm doing on my own. She's like, oh, okay, okay. She was like, well, um, I said, yeah. I said, I'm so Madrid. When she's done with you, after getting her reading, she's just going to come over and we're both, you know, we're just going to do it together. She was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to come do it with y'all. I'm like, hold on. Like, I'm, I'm learning from you. And you're going to come to my ritual? Like, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Um... So she's like, yeah, she said, the spirit guides are telling me to come to yours and to join in with you with what you're doing. So I'm like, holy crap. First of all, I'm a beginner, I'm a newbie, I'm a baby, okay? This is my first ritual of any kind. I don't even know if I'm doing right. She's like, well, there's no right or wrong. She's like, whatever the spirit guides lead you to do, that's what you do period point blank i'm like okay i'm running okay i'm like cool so i'm like okay well maybe she's gonna come and like direct it you know make sure we're doing it right or lead us how to do it no she's like whatever you doing i'm going to do what you're doing i'm like blown away and i'm like okay cool and then i'm thinking about it i'm like wait this is crazy. She's like, what? I said, at first it was just me. Then it's me and Madrid. I said, and then and now you're coming in. There's the number three again. Because I was telling her how I've been seeing the number three all week. I was like, there's the number three again. I'm like, this is crazy. She's like, no, it's not crazy. It's divine. I said, that's exactly what I mean. This divine. I said, not crazy like don't make no sense crazy but crazy like how this is still all lining up there's no way that i can sit here and look myself in the face in the mirror and say you ain't gonna do this ritual there's no way i have to do this ritual i have to i have to and then let me tell y'all so ganesha is the deity chosen for the ritual which is insane because I was introduced to elephants October of 2016. I knew elephants existed. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is why I'm saying everything exists around you and you never really pay attention to it or connect to it or tie into it until you're supposed to or until you start to get an alignment. And I kid you not. I've been in love with elephants ever since October 2016. I've been seeing elephants, statues, candles, pictures, elements, items, whatever it is, in just in different places, and they would just catch my attention in different moments, and it's like, okay. So for her to do um, Ganesha for this moon ritual, I'm just like, okay, like it can't get no crazier than this. Like it can't, right, right? So, mind you, so Miss Monica calls me back and she's like, hey, um, so we talk about the ritual again and she's like excited. And she was like, well, so where are we doing? I was like, well, honestly, I was just going to do it in my house. I said, but I said, since the two of you are already together, I said, I can just come to you, you know, and we can do it there. And she's like, okay, well, you know, what do we need this fast enough? Did, you know, asking me what do we need for the ritual? And I'm telling her, I'm like, okay, well, the colors are, I'm like, well, the deity for this is Ganesha. Um, the colors that we're doing, um, we need to have three candles for sure. Um, the colors that we're doing are red and black. She goes, 
I said, and we can have a white one if we choose. We can have, you know, do red, black, and white. She was like, oh, my God. I was like, what? She was like, um, she told me she was going to already wear white and black with the splash of red. And she told me the colors for her sister circle or sisterhood, um, some group that she has or something. The colors for that are red, black, and white. And we on the phone, like, y'all, we on the phone tripping out. Like, how everything is just in alignment. When I say in, like, I can't even tell y'all all the experiences that I've had as of lately. Like, even within the past month that have been insane. Like, literally, thoughts of people, and I kid you not. They will call, they will text me, they will DM me, swear, honey, if God, I was about to say if God could tell you, but I am telling you, <laughs> that's what's been happening. And it seems, it seems like little stuff, hold on, I'm at work, it seems like little stuff, but it's not. When I say... This moon ritual is going to bring so much. It's going to... Let me tell y'all one more thing real quick. And then I'm going to go because this video is getting super long. So let me tell y'all something else. So when I turned 30, right? When I turned past tense 30, um, I said... I said... Um, I don't know what's going to happen in these next couple years. But by the time I'm 33, something amazing and out of this world is going to happen. And um, from 30 to 33 has really been a big, big, big transitional period for me. Okay. My spiritual journey has been like crazy when I say it's been elevated like crazy it has been elevated like cray cray um, so Friday Friday um, is my birthday next week Friday I will be 33 now y'all know so between those that have um, been in Christianity, studied Christianity, grew up in church, whatever, y'all know, the age of 30, Jesus started his journey, like really started his journey. He had to wait until he was 30. 30 to 33, he was in preparation mode for what was to come right 33 was said that when he was um you know crucified died resurrected all of that crucified died resurrected and his spirit came that's when he sent the holy spirit to dwell within the people right none of that happened until he was 33 33 all that happens and then the ministry of jesus really actually began at that point it didn't begin between 30 and 33 that was all preparation that was all preparation 33 on is when it really started so i'll be 33 in a week one week exactly from today i will be 33 so this moon ritual happening today one week before i turned 33 and just with everything that I've, I've been going through from 30 till now in preparation for what's to come. Like, I kid you not, I am going to journal, vlog, blog my little butt off because I, I, I'm, I believe so strongly when Kendra's like, you know, years from now, you're going to look back and this is a huge transitional point or a huge it's like a huge milestone um for some i know for me it definitely is um like a huge hurdle and a leap where she's like the rich get richer and the poor get poor no i believe 
for this some of the poor are going to get rich hello um and it's going to go on from there i honestly i don't even know what is to come but i know whatever comes is life changing it is life changing there is no doubt in my soul whatsoever that i'm not meant to do this tonight i'm not meant to do this on this day there is none of that like i know this is for me i know the timing is right for me um and i just hope that you know if there's anybody out there that was um deciding like not to do something because they're not knowledgeable on it like don't hold yourself back because as, as knowledgeable as I am not, I will be as knowledgeable as, as I'm supposed to be or meant to be by the time I do this ritual. Because I'm doing it, period, point blank. Um, with full intent, um, full preparation, like I'm, I'm so excited. There's no, no way this ain't gonna be bomb. There's no way this ain't gonna be popping. Yo, like, look, I don't know. I don't even want to say look out for videos and stuff when I tell y'all, you know, updates and this and that. I don't want to say that um, because everything's not meant to share. But whatever I'm led to share, I will. Um, and when I'm not, you'll just see it manifest. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to share that stuff. This video was super extra, 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 extra long. Um, but, yo, know, this moon ritual... And the things that come from this is going to be off the chain. Off the chain.